As of May 10th, there have been 164 mass shootings in the year of 2020. Today is May 26th, and today in San Jose, California, there was another eight people killed in a mass shooting, the ninth being the gunman who was also killed. The police have not released details on the manner of the gunman's death, but a total of nine people have been killed in San Jose today. This is just one of so many mass shootings. As I said before, 164 mass shootings have occurred since May 10th. And even between May 10th and now, May 26th, there have been countless other shootings. A mass shooting is considered four or more people being shot or killed, excluding the gunmen. So in the last 18 weeks, or I guess, 22 weeks no 20 weeks now more than four people have been shot at one time across the country over 164 times this is senseless deaths obviously there are so many things that can go into preventing mass shootings gun control mental health care um and things of that nature so gun control has been a highly debated topic despite its grand need and this year um back after the um shootings in atlanta um president biden um had five policies that he had in place that he was intending to implement but it seems like um when it comes to the topic of gun control and gun violence people are slow to move and like to drag their feet because it is something that is highly debated and highly controversial because of the sentiments that Americans have for their guns. Understanding gun violence and mass shootings from a mental health perspective, um, I believe that these things not only make sense, you know, we're coming out of quarantine, people have been isolated for a long period of time, people already have mental health issues that go unaddressed, um, people have aggression issues that go unaddressed, anger issues that go unaddressed, and all of these things have been accumulating um, and snowballing for the last year. So now that people are back in society, I'm not sure what would drive someone to take the life of another person, let alone multiple people, but I do know that it is not something that is normal and these things have to be addressed on a psychological level because it takes a certain person, it takes a certain mindset, and it takes certain triggers to initiate these kind of responses from people. Also something that I do not see getting better anytime soon. There's really no way to um, predict whether someone is going to be a mass shooter. And because mass shootings are becoming very popular for some reason, the amount of mass shootings that have happened, there were just 16 reported this weekend, 16 mass shootings in one weekend. I literally have goosebumps. That it, Those numbers are appalling. These things are becoming a trend. And while we like to think of trends as something that's usually like um you think of trends you think of social media you know TikTok dances trends and and makeup and beauty and things like that but there are also those negative trends okay asian hate sentiment and when you think about racism in general sexism fatphobia negative things that tend to get worse with time when they go unaddressed gun violence is one of those things mass shootings is one of those things Obviously, a person is not just taking their own life into account, but count the lives of other people to the point where their lives are devalued, where you would take their life without second thought. So, I can't speak to the intentions of these mass shooters. I'm not a psychologist. I am a criminologist. Um, but I can definitely say that control and power have a lot to do with these kind of things when it comes to violence um when it comes to violence at this scale control and power have a lot to do with why people um commit these kind of acts when people feel like they are not heard when people feel like there's nowhere else to turn when people feel like um this is the only way they can work through whatever pain or situation that they're going through 
this is obviously something that is not only self-annihilating but the annihilating of other people the desire to spread pain the desire to take from others what maybe you feel like others took from you it's really important to understand how these things can be prevented on both sides obviously there is no solid way to prevent gun violence but it is important on the government's end to control and regulate who has guns and to know to, to control and regulate who has guns and who has access to guns and then on the mental health side the government should also be in charge of ensuring the welfare of people if this person had a job if this person was in school if this person was in any type of like social interaction that could have been regulated then these things could be prevented feelings of loneliness could really contribute to these kind of things so when jobs facilitate a more familial uh, family-based setting versus a strictly professional you do your job and you go home that is one way to probably prevent these kind of things when people feel like they belong to an organization or belong to something greater than themselves they're much like less likely to do acts that are very selfish taking not only your life but someone else's life is a selfish act because you're only thinking about yourself and your pain but if you feel like you belong to something greater which could be facilitated in jobs then these kind of things are less likely to happen also in schools um ensuring that there's a community in your school instead of allowing certain violences to happen to individuals or to allow people to be ostracized in school and to normalize the ostracization of students by other students um, can contribute to these kind of things. I know this is a big country, but if we inspired more of a community welfare approach to the laws, a community welfare approach to um, things that we do socially, but if we function more as a society versus individuals, a part of one, country then we probably would have a better chance to fighting gun violence because these people are crying out for help and a lot of things lead up to these things i don't think people just wake up one day and do these kind of things i think these are things that are fantasized about that are ruminated over and that one day there's a trigger or there's just something that happens that says you know that idea I was thinking about before? Today's the day. So it's important to have a lot of positive reaction, positive interactions with people. You never know who you're talking to. You know, this is, I don't want to be the person who is victim blaming because we all have the potential to be victims of gun violence, especially mass shootings um, by a stranger. But this is definitely a reason to go out of your way just to spread more positive energy in the world and in the environment because you never know what people are going through and the last thing you want is to be just another just another layer on someone's bad day or bad month or bad year my condolences to the people and the families who lost their lives um in the san jose shooting and all the mass shootings that have happened this year it is truly unfortunate that people have to lose their life in such a violent and unnecessary way. Thank you all for watching. I hope that um, you can spread the message of the necessity, the need for us to control guns in America. It's not that important for all of us to have guns it's not something that should be normalized that we have mass shootings. Other countries are really looking at us like, wow, we truly have an issue. We have an issue with valuing human life. The fact that people think that they can and people do just take the lives of other people um, to soothe their own um, internal chaos. It is unfortunate. And it's reflective of the society that we have at hand. I can't think of other countries where mass shootings are a constant thing and fear. And it is May. It is May.
it is May, and we've had over 180 mass shootings since the beginning of the year. That is, it's truly unacceptable, and it's something that we as a society should not accept. We need to lean on, um, we need to lean on the government, lean on Joe Biden, lean on our local and state officials to ensure that we can live in a safer country where guns are not readily accessible to everyone and that having a gun is not um, normal. Understand that the gun violence that we are seeing here is just a problem that is going to get worse. And if we have to regulate guns to a point where people are uncomfortable or that people feel some type of way, let people feel some type of way because people are actually dying. People are actually dying and there's something that we could do about it and we choose not to because of gun lobbying, the NRA, Texas. Let this be the last one, even though it's definitely not going to be. We definitely need to make greater efforts and to control gun violence.